Welcome everybody. I'm Letizia Cinganotto and I'm a researcher at INDIRE, which is the National Institute for Documentation, Innovation and Educational Research in Italy. I've been dealing with CLEL as a research area for a long time. Um, so what is CLEL? Uh, CLEL stands for Content and Language Integrated Learning, but the focus is on plurilingualism, so not only on English. And as you can see, there are other acronyms in other languages like EMIL, IGLE and PAWA. So CLEL is a dual focused educational approach in which an additional language is used for the learning and teaching of both content and language. But there is no single model, no blueprint for CLEL, as CLEL is an umbrella term highlighting different um, methodologies and approaches uh, which are all um, aimed at um, putting the students at the center of the learning process. Here are some of the main um, frameworks for CLEL. First of all, uh, the four C's framework by Docoy. Uh, so content, uh, which is the subject. Uh, then we have uh, communication. So the um, speaking, but also writing skills, um, all the um, communicative competence. Then we have culture, which is uh, the background of every uh, activity and then cognition. So the thinking skills that we activate when we assign our students clear tasks. Um, then we have the difference between uh, the beaks and calf, um, according to the famous linguist Cummings. Um, with the, with CLEL, we use beaks, basic interpersonal communication skills, uh, so the general um, communication um, communication skills. Uh, used uh, for um, daily life um, uh, interactions, and CALP, which is the cognitive academic language proficiency uh, that we need to communicate, talk about uh, academic uh, subject specific content. Um, then we have the famous language triptych, um, uh, so the language of le learning, language for learning, and through learning. And here, once again, we have Doc Coyle as one of the um, most famous experts, um, CLEL, together with uh, David Marsh, the inventor of the CLEL acronym. And then we have uh, the CLEL pyramid by David Ma by Oliver Meyer, um, uh, talking about the um, uh, the flow, um, the um, um, processing of the input, um, starting from the topic selection, the choice of media and the task design ended the CLEL workout. So with CLEL activities, we provide our students with um, meaningful um, inputs um, according to some specific topics and, and using different media as we have a multimodal approach with CLEL. So we use um, video, audio, uh, not only, of course, um, aura, not, all, not only um, uh, top-down, top delivery, um, uh, lesson, but also um, uh, cooperative learning, uh, interactive activities, and other, um, other meaningful tasks. Um, and so um, uh, we, um, uh, in this way, um, uh, we have our student process um, the input they receive in order to, um, to have a comprehensible uh, output. Um, then uh, here um, uh, you can see uh, the essentials of CLEL um, and we have the uh, definition in the center. Uh, this poster comes from um, Erasmus, um, the famous Erasmus uh, program. Um, and here you can see um, all the, um, the pillars um, of CLEL, such as uh, the um, uh, critical thinking skills activating by CLEL tasks. We can see fostering learning autonomy, um, cooperative learning, scaffolding, uh, which is this sort of guide um, acted by the teacher um, uh, in order to um, um, help uh, students um, and um, 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 by, by hand, um, uh, help, help him or her towards the um, uh, progressive um, learning, learning autonomy. Um, and then um, uh, we have the um, metacognition, uh, so the activation of the um, metacognitive skills in, um, uh, in our students reflecting on their uh, autonomy. Um, so the, um, um, some of the, um, um, the best um, uh, and the, the most effective methodologies that we can use 
uh, with CLIL. First of all, task-based learning as we assign meaningful tasks to um, our students, um, especially with, with STEM um, subjects, we, we can have um, experiments, um, other um, hands-on activities. Um, and so um, uh, we, we have um, tasks uh, requiring meaningful use of the language and at the same time learning of specific content. With project-based learning, we have students realize pro realizing projects in um, uh, starting from a driving question or challenge. Um, and they, they have to realize and present uh, projects mainly in, in, in groups. And with phenomenon-based learning, which is um, which comes from uh, the Finnish uh, curriculum, um, uh, we have um, uh, the use of um, language as a vehicular to investigate um, a real life problem or phenomenon um, uh, through an intersection of different subjects. Um, then some uh, inputs about CLIL and learning technologies. The added value of ICT for CLIL um, has been um, highlighted by the European Commission and the Council of Europe for a long time. Uh, here are just some examples of um, uh, repositories and tools for CLIL. Um, uh, TED Ed platform, um, including a lot of uh, videos um, um, uh, on, on different topics and also different languages that can be used uh, as inputs, um, uh, for example, um, at the beginning of, um, of a clear lesson. Um, then we have Khan Academy, um, another um, very interesting platform with a lot of videos, a lot of courses, um, also with um, um, uh, um, interactive tests that can be assigned in a flipped learning perspective, for example, or also in class. And then um, there's another repository of tools, classtools.net, which is fantastic fantastic because you can find is a meta repository of, of, of tools where you can find um, uh, very interactive and amusing tools um, uh, where the language is used um, to play um, uh, to play but at the same time to learn um, uh, topics like um, uh, science uh, scientific topics or humanistic topics um, but um, activating um, a game based uh, approach uh, just um, uh, a final word about um, um, uh, an interesting um, uh, project, an Erasmus project, where I was involved with my institutions, um, created for STEM. You can find um, a lot of videos um, and, uh, and other learning material uh, to be used with the students um, um, for CLIL in STEM subjects. So thank you so much and happy CLIL.